Our first stop was Vegas. After a four-hour drive, we went and stayed at a hotel. Morning came, and the road trip continued. Once we got to Colorado, we went to this cute art gallery, tasted some of the famous Voodoo Donut, played Uno at a shaved ice cafe, and had LARP burgers for dinner. Next day, we got to see the breathtaking El Dorado Canyon Park. We helped prepare a delicious steak and mashed potato dinner. Of course, the eating continues, so the next day we headed to Snooze for brunch. Their sweet potato pancakes are to die for, by the way. After stopping by Estes Park Scenic View, taking a few pictures, we eventually got to the Stanley Hotel. Our guided tour gave us insight of the hotel's history, spooky tales, and even how it became the inspiration for Stephen King's The Shining. The adventure continues as we headed to the Red Rocks Park in the amphitheater. When it's not being filled up by audiences about to see a musician or performer, locals and some tourists use the amphitheater as their outdoor gym. Colorado is not without its outdoor shopping center. This one in particular, located in the heart of the city of Boulder. As we head back home to California, we make a few stops on the way. Awesome rock landscapes greeted us in Arches National Park in eastern Utah. Although we didn't see as much as the park was about to close by the time we got there, we did get to see the famous window arches and some weird rock. <laughs> we couldn't pass the chance to see the Horseshoe Bend in Arizona, so there we went. And that is the end of our Colorado road trip.